Yesterday, one of the biggest moments in human history finally happened. This is up there with the discovery of fire and the invention of the wheel. Dream did a face reveal. There was more hype around this than if Jesus Christ had resurrected again. Everyone was waiting anxiously, as if it was Christmas Eve, just waiting for Dream to drop the goodies. He had posted a premiere that was finally going to showcase his face to the world. There were streamers that were watching and waiting. Ludwig broke his all-time viewership record, having 150,000 concurrent viewers just waiting for Ludwig to react to Dream's face. It was a big deal across the entire internet. I'll go ahead and quickly play a small clip from the video just so you can see his face and we can go into everything that's happened since because it's been kind of a wacky 24 hours here. Hi. It feels, feels so awkward. Talking to a camera for the first time. Hi. My name is Clay otherwise known as Dream Online. No meme, no clickbait, as advertised, Dream's face. In 4K, full display, this is finally the face reveal that people never actually expected to happen. For over a year now, there's been leaks and all kinds of attempts to track down and triangulate Dream's position in order to find out what he looks like to really deduce the point of the mask. Is it to hide burns? You know, is it like a Harvey Dent situation? So for a long time, people have been trying to figure out what he looks like, and he ripped the band-aid off yesterday, just showcasing it fully to the world. And the reason why it's been such a huge talked about deal is because I'm pretty sure it's the largest face reveal in YouTube history, at least in terms of the person's size. I'm pretty sure Dream is the largest creator that had never shown their face in terms of subscribers and views. He certainly hasn't been the longest running uh, mysterious man. There's still people like How to Basic, H2O Delirious that haven't publicly shown their face, and they've been around far longer than Dream. I mean, even myself. I went the first 10 years of my YouTube channel faceless. But yeah, I'm pretty sure in terms of girth, Dream is the biggest channel that had never shown their face. So, let's talk about the aftermath of this, because this... This was a big moment. This is like the extinction event of the dinosaurs. This is the dawn of a new age here. The post-Dream face reveal. So, it turns out Dream is a good-looking guy. Of course, beauty is subjective, but I just don't know how anyone would look at him and think, damn, that guy's ugly. Because if that's the case, then my god, you must look at me like I'm some kind of repulsive goblin ooze creature. On Twitter, they were cooking Dream's cheeks for the better part of 12 hours. And that had me self-conscious like, oh my god. If they find him ugly, wait till they see me. They're gonna think I'm some kind of car accident victim that had butthole skin grafted to their face and fucking pube hair taped onto it. That shit had my self-esteem going right down the shitter. I felt like that Spongebob, SpongeBob episode, like, I'm ugly and I'm proud. Like, it was, like, that had an effect on me, my soul. Because, I mean, the number one and two trends after the Dream Face reveal were he's ugly and Dream should have kept the mask on, or something like that. I can't remember the second one. But He's Ugly was the number one trend, all just shitting on Dream's face reveal. And it was brutal. They, they were going hog wild on him for it. Now, of course, not everyone's going to find the same people attractive, but to find someone so abhorrent that you felt the need to make massive threads all about how ugly Dream is as well as hyper-analyzing every bit of his facial features in order to prove empirically that he is ugly, was a next level of uh, shitting on someone's appearance. That went hard. Now, of course, I'm no psychologist, but I'm going to pretend to be for a moment. I feel like a lot of it's just people hating Dream himself. There's a lot of people that hate Dream, they hate his fan base, can't fucking stand the guy. So I feel like no matter what he did here, this was going to happen. This was inevitable. He could have done this face reveal, and it turns out it was Henry Cavill behind the mask. Henry Cavill was Dream, and Twitter still would have eaten him alive calling him ugly. Just because they don't like him at all. Now, that's just my take on it. It could be copium, because I don't want to live in a world where that's considered the ugliest creature in the world, because that puts me way down into the deepest pits of hell in terms of attractiveness. So it could just be cope for me, I don't really know. I'd also like to mention that some of the streamers that were watching the Dream Face Reveal video had the most outrageous reactions to seeing his face. Like, there was one guy in particular who started yelling and screaming as if there was like a murder taking place in front of him. 
just melting down. He had to like stand up to calm himself down. Just going fucking crazy like, Oh my god! No way! No way! It's Dream's face! Just some people that were watching it were celebrating harder than if they had won the lottery. Or they were like so blown away like, How is this possible? He has a face! I don't know. I just wanted to at least point that out that some of these reactions were nutty. But yeah, things got crazy online after this face reveal. Wubby posted a very interesting photograph that I wish I could share with you, but I can't. So I'll explain it. It was a picture of Dream's face in a cup with cum on it. So Wubby gave him a nice cum tribute and called it hashtag wet dream, which is just so flattering and sweet. It's just been a, a lot of a lot of goofiness going on now since the dream face reveal. I wanted to quickly say, like, my take as someone who didn't reveal their face for 10 years. After I did, it felt like such a breath of fresh air. Just, it, it opened so many doors for content. Like, I was able to do a lot more content that I've always wanted to do, but couldn't because I remained faceless for so long. And I imagine it's kind of the same for Dream, where now he feels like he's more able to do different kinds of content, as opposed to just being restricted to one form of it. So yeah, I just wanted to toss that out there. I think face reveals are usually a good idea if you want to, like, branch out and do different kinds of content. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to briefly talk about all this, and that's about it. So yeah.